Hi everybody, I'm Alex. And I'm Tyler. This is Unit 17, Nokia reinvents itself again. Ever since it was founded in 1865, Finnish company Nokia has been through many changes and worn many hats. Uh, it was originally famous for being a cable and rubber manufacturer, but you probably best know it as a mobile phone brand. Wear many hats. Wear many hats. Once upon a time, Nokia dominated the mobile phone market. In fact, in 2007, they owned about 50% of the global market share. However, due to a lot of stiff competition from companies such as Apple and Samsung, the market share eventually dwindled down to nothing and they no longer really compete in the smartphone market. Now it vies for dominance in the 5G equipment market and once again, Nokia finds itself reinventing itself. Vi. Vi. They sold off their smartphone division in 2013 and instead turned their attention to telecommunications equipment. In order to expand further into that market, they actually purchased um, or acquired a French firm in 2016. However, uh, merging the two companies' products and staffing proved to be more difficult than they imagined. Also, Nokia laid off thousands of employees in France, despite promises to the contrary at the time of the acquisition. The company has struggled to resolve product compatibility issues and labor disputes, so their R&D departments have been hindered. Hinder. Hinder. Which Nokia products are you familiar with? Probably the, maybe the first smart cell phone mm -hmm. I had back in maybe middle school. Mm -hmm. It was like a brick. So it was the first one I had. Yeah. Yeah. The second phone I had was a Nokia. The first one was a Siemens. If you guys remember the company Siemens. And the second phone I had was the Nokia 3310. No, 3330. When did you last use a Nokia product? That, at that time. Yeah, early <laughs> 2000s. School, yeah. Yeah, yeah, same here, maybe 2003, 2004, <clears throat> around about then. So long preview because we will see you back here for the review.